All right, Glutton's Kitchen sub level five. I hope you guys brought some snacks because um, oh wait, no, there's still another sub level after this. Yeah, this this is the dungeon that has kind of all of the food treasures, so probably should have brought some snacks along. All right, more dwarf. Oh hi! So that's the armored cannon beetle. Let's uh, take him out as soon as possible. Nope! Okay, I really didn't want to use a bitter spray on that guy, but I did what I had to do. I, that's not to say I, like, hate white chocolate. I just wish it wasn't trying to pretend to be something it wasn't. Like, it's not white chocolate. It's just fancy vanilla, okay? You're not fooling anybody. Just be honest and upfront about what you are. Embrace it. Hi. Honestly, if it didn't have chocolate in the name, I would probably, like, appreciate it a little more. But it's like, oh, look! We're chocolate! It's like, no, you're not! <laughs> you have no cocoa in you. Use cocoa butter, but that is not the same thing. Uh, Beat him up! Ah, not another one! Get out of the way. Okay, let's 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 hold off on taking him on. Ah, there's another one! No! Ah! That was way too freaking close. What on earth? Okay, I got a plan. I forgot about this sub level. Okay, I've got a plan. We're going to use our spicy sprays. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. First off, we're going to get some more purple Pikmin. I have not actually seen the process of how they get cocoa out of the bean. Don't... <laughs> that might be one of those food beans that I don't really want to know about. Okay. I think we're just going to want our purples. Okay. I'm going to ultra spicy spray my purples, and hopefully we can take out those cannon beetles all in with one spray. Because you know me, I'm a bit of a scrooge when it comes to my collectibles in video games. Is there a way to get behind him? No, that, that looks kind of like the out-of-bounds area. Okay. No! No! Okay, I forgot that this sub-level has armored cannon... Uh, actually, it's not cannon beetles. Cannon larva. Yikes. Alright, well... Goodbye, purple Pikmin. That is not the sub-level I thought we were going to lose Pikmin on. I thought we were going to lose it on the bull bear one. This does mean that we get our... Bitter spray back though. And thankfully this this is why I'm very grateful that it saves after every sub level. Also, this new sub level is gonna look slightly different. And I'll have all the same stuff, but just in different places. Alright, so that's where our first cannon beetle is gonna be. Ah no! That didn't last long! I think this is one of those situations where having a hundred Pikmin is actually not good. Because if you have a hundred Pikmin, that that means that your Pikmin are slower because they have to wait for the other Pikmin to get out of the way so they can get hit by stuff like the boulders a little more easily. Oh, if if it didn't save after every sub level, no, there's no there is no way I would attempt this challenge if it didn't save after every sub level. No way. One of the dungeons in this game has 15 floors, and those are not easy floors. Wow. Start- Wow! Starting off like this already, if I didn't see that there, like... You fools!
Okay. It's time to play a little fun little game I call trick the enemies into killing each other. Ouch. Pikmin should be safe in that corner. I don't think anything can reach him. Oh! Oh, rats. So we can't get them to shoot each other. That's... That's a little annoying. I don't want to have to deal with the beetle and the bull bears. Seems like a bad idea. Darn it, the corpses of his fallen friends are blocking the, be the boulders. Ouch. Man, those guys hurt. Okay, this is, this will actually be a little bit, a little tricky to do without, uh, dying, <laughs> without letting any Pikmin die. There's just so many of the beetles. Alright, Louie is a little bit injured, just a tad. Alright, hmm. I used to think... I was thinking maybe only bring the purples. I actually think bring everybody but the purples, because the purples are just so slow. And we can't throw them as far, so I don't think they'll actually do a great job against the beetles. What? Wasn't there a beetle there before? Wait, what? You don't get to do that. Thankfully, when he launches the boulder, it doesn't go right in front of him. Alright, that's how we do it. We don't get our powerful Pikmin, we get our fast Pikmin. Get him out of here. <laughs> I am speed. Okay. That guy we're going to have to go around to the rainbow side. Okay, this guy's actually these guys aren't actually aren't too bad. As long as you don't have any really slow Pikmin. Hey friendos, don't don't get too close to him, okay? I don't like that. Uh, I, if I, Marty, if, if I'm not playing a custom music randomizer, I would prefer people not request music. Because this already has music in it. 
Alright. And there's there there are I think too many of these cannon larvae on this sub level. There's like five of them. That's too much. Uh, let's come back with the purples for them. Do do. <laughs> Louie, you go and get, grab the purple so we can take out the remaining little bull bears. <laughs> they, I mean, you 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 say that in jest, but that is kind of how Pikmin two do, do be. Oh, also, this is a an important question that I want Twitch chat's opinion on because I could go either way. I'm sure a lot of you have at least heard of the Submerged Castle. It's probably the most infamous dungeon of the game. Should I do the Submerged Castle before I get the light bulb that lights up the caves to make it more intense? I could go either way on that. <laughs> I thought there was still one more cannon beetle around. Am I wrong? <laughs> ah, no! Wish I had my purple pigment for that. The game is hard enough without the self-imposed challenges. It's not a self-imposed challenge. I'm just curious of what dungeon order people kind of want me to go through. The Boom Cone. <laughs> That's a good name for the, the noisemaker. I thought for sure there was still another cannon larva around somewhere. Perhaps not. Yes, no deaths is a self-imposed challenge, but doing the no light bulb, or doing light bulb later is not a self-imposed challenge. Sulky, the sulking antenna. <laughs> oh, hey! That, okay, I guess I did do everything on this floor. Alright, where's that violet flower? There it is. All right, there we go. Five new purple Pikmin. We'll drink some of that delicious nectar, and then sub-level six should be the last sub-level. And it's my, also my favorite. <laughs> sub-level six is amazing. Wow, that, that nectar would be floating. If you, like if if the treasures on this uh, dungeon weren't making you hungry already, you will be on the next sub level. <laughs> I love how you gave that comment with with literally zero context. So anybody who doesn't know what sub level six has, what? Oh, I, I guess if the Pikmin are idle, they can't drink nectar. That's Interesting. All right, <laughs> here we go. Sub level six, final floor of Glutton's Kitchen. This is gonna be a fun one. <laughs> it has the tamest boss in the game by far. 
That doesn't mean you can't die, though. Glutton's Kitchen, sub-level 6. Look at how nice and bright it is! Final floor. Alright. So this here is the boss. It's the giant bread bug. So he's literally just a bigger version of the regular bread bugs. And as you can see, they're on a rampage. They're taking the donut! No! They can't take the donut! <laughs> Taking the egg. Now we do have to be careful because there are there is electricity a lot over this place, and we do have white and purple Pikmin. So no, he's taking the Canadian bacon. <laughs> Stop him! <laughs> oh man, <laughs> look at that donut, the sweet dreamer. If only it had white sprinkles. <laughs> no. Grab the Canadian bacon. Don't let him get it. <laughs> You're not getting the Canadian bacon. Mmm. <laughs> egg. The hideous victual. I actually don't really like eggs, IRL. But that looks like a nice egg. I like the I like the look of them. It's still it's wobbling around though. It probably hasn't been cooked long enough. I'm not a fan of the yolk, like the runny yolk. Also, if this is post-apocalyptic Earth, how long ago was that egg fried? Marty, you like ramen, don't? Aren't eggs in ramen? Mmm, mm, ham. The meat of champions. Again, not really a fan of ham, but it looks good. Eggs are the glue to greatness. You know, I agree with that. Okay. So I've gotten the free main treasures. There's still the boss to defeat, though. So at this point... Yeah, so the giant bread bug, like, he's not really a boss. He can't kill you. The, again, like the regular bread bugs, the only way he can kill you is if you grab onto something he's dragging back and let him drag you into his den. Well, all right. We'll take out the anode beetles. Because now, the giant bread bug is very difficult to damage without having corpses to drag him into the, uh, the ship. Like, landing a Pikmin directly on his back is very precise and deals hardly any damage. So you're definitely better off to do that. And there, he drops the final treasure. <laughs> the Pikmin are yay! Holding hands! <laughs> Processing. How bizarre. An item appears to have fallen out of that freakish creature. It must have been a greedy beast to swallow something like this. Well, we knew that. I used to like scrambled eggs, not really so much anymore. Then again, I haven't tried them in a long time. Ha, <laughs> I-O. Oh. 100 Pocos. The dream material. Oh boy, it's another fancy treasure. This intriguing material does not conduct electricity. It is far more advanced than the material I was researching. How frustrating. A spacesuit made from this wonder alloy would insulate the wearer from electric shocks. Ex excellent. This new material has allowed me to complete my anti-electric fire. It is my own invention, with only the smallest iota of outside inspiration. I have reconfigured your suits with this new material. They will now protect you from electricity. So now Olimar and Louie won't take damage from electric attacks, which is nice. Still gotta watch out for your Pikmin, though. Okay. Drag it back! No! What the heck? Why would you charge right at the freaking electric bug when you're not electric proof? What? You doofus. <laughs> what a lunkhead. Now we, now we gotta do that floor again. <sighs> uh, 
Ah, well. <laughs> That's okay. If I have to redo another floor again, it, it, I would want it to be this one. Okay. No time to lose. Immediately grab the yellows. Redbug's walking out of bounds. That, how is that allowed? Alright, we'll get the egg again. <laughs> mm. That looks like an egg directly out of, like, a fake, e like, Fisher Price egg for, like, a Fisher Price kitchen. Meat of Champions. Hillshire Farms! Alright, Louie, you grab the yellows that came back. Together, we take out the freaking anode beetles. Well, what's this? You dare try to steal a donut. That donut is like ten times the size of you. How dare you? Oh, look. Get out of here, those stupid spiders. Oh, that's why they aren't rotten. Yeah, they're Fisher Price eggs. And this is like the donut magnet at the magnet store. Give that back. Ah, uh, curse electricity being like the one element that just instantly kills. No. No. You're not grabbing that. No. Nerve. <laughs> I love that this is, the, this is literally the only boss in the game that doesn't even play the boss music, because that's how unthreatening he is. Yes, we've already seen that. <laughs> there we go. Get the treasure again. We should have cleared the entire floor now. <laughs> That's why you want lots of yellows in Glutton's Kitchen. <laughs> Ten. I do love skippable cutscenes. They are fantastic. Got a straggler somewhere. Oh. Found him, apparently. Oh, there's one beetle left. That's okay. We got all the treasure. Escape with the Pikmin! And that's Glutton's Kitchen. As I said, kind of the last easy dungeon of the game. Dream Material, Boom Cone, Sweet Dreamer, Direct Read of Destiny, Invigorator, Meet of Champions, blah 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 blah. Cave complete! Alright. That was fun. Even though we had to reset a few times, that's still a fun dungeon. <laughs>